In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you five sliding options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this will be very useful slide for the teachers and students to showcase their work during the school presentations or for the science project. So let me just show you how it works when I click the first information comes you can see the first here and i'm talking about my science project and you can add some detailed text here and then for each uh, click it will give the details on each subject for example let me just click it will come the topic one you can just put any text of your choice and i've added my own images here and i can i added some detailed text here and then when i click the third option comes with the topic two you can see here then comes the topic three and then the last one topic four so likewise you can add as many as pages depending on your requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle towards the right side of the slide you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some a good color of my choice or it's up to you you can choose any color of your choice also then i'm going to select this i'm going to duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to give a different color and then send this to back you can see here and I'm going to keep this much gap and then this one also you just drag it towards the right side till the end of the, the slide area and then likewise I'm going to add uh, three more total five rectangles I'm going to add press ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm just going to add the next color again send this to back you can see here and again drag it towards the end of the slide make sure to give equal spacing press ctrl d to duplicate then i'm going to choose the next color again send this to back and then drag it towards the end and then the last one press ctrl d and i'm going to use maybe this color send this to back all right and give the same spacing and then this also drag it so you can see here i've added five rectangles now i'm going to add a few more shapes to support this go to insert shapes select the rectangle first rectangle for this particular uh, shape you can see the rectangle first so maybe you can increase the size depending on your requirement shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color then let me just move it till here then I'm going to add the next one press ctrl D so this is for the the second rectangle you can see here and again I'm going to give the color again make sure that it is properly aligned then press ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm just going to give it make sure that the spaces are and it is properly aligned also and this one I'm going to give this color all right and let me just move it some more down then again ctrl D I'm going to do for this and shape fill I'm going to use this one and then the last one you can see here I'm going to reduce it till here and this color I'm going to give it and make sure that there's no uh, a gap here okay once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the text so let me just add the text before adding the text I can simply add one more uh, shape here I'm going to select the arrow chevron just put a small one something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape will make it white and then go to insert text box I'm going to add so this is my first page so I'm just going to type first make it white font make it bold and choose some good font of your choice and then i'm just going to put it here you can see here and then i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and add it for the rest of the options so this is you can see here add one by one and then let's change to this is second this is 
third, fourth, and this is fifth. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group this. So let me just select the this shape, this one, the arrow one. We can see here all these five. Press Control G to group it and go to Format, send this to back. All right. Then I'm going to select the arrow chevron, the text, this one and the bigger rectangle. Press Control G to group it and again send this to back. You can see here let me just select the third one Control g again send this to back then i'm going to select the fourth one you can see here Control g again send this to back and then the last one i'm going to group it all right now we have grouped it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a proper name for each group so go to the home tab select selection pane you can see here it's all group 1 group 24 like that so what i'm going to do first of all let me just select the first group which is here and i'm going to make it as page 1 you can see here this is page 2 all right this is page 3 and this is page 4 And this is page 5 okay so you can see here I've added page 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let's add the detail content on each page now if I want to add on the page 1 I cannot do because you know all these options are there so what I'm going to do using the selection panel I'm just going to uh, hide this okay page 5 you can see here I'm just going to hide and then only the page one is visible so here this is my first page which is going to be visible when at time of animation I'm just going to say that my project for example center align white font make it bold increase the size you can see here this is I'm going to talk about my project and wherever you want you can position it and then you can just add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one so let me just add some center line white font and reduce the size and align it properly so this is my first page you can see here now this also i need to group it because when i'm grouping i can do the animation perfectly otherwise uh, a lot of complications will be there in in terms of animation so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to select this hold the shift key this and this you can see here this page one and these two text boxes press ctrl g to group it you can see here and again i'm going to make this as page one okay again i'm renaming as page one or any other name and then just drag this down okay now let me just enable the page two okay and hide the page two so this is the page two page two i'm just going to copy some of the my own work images i have converted into images and then i'm just going to paste it here one by one okay so this is my page 2 which i'm going to talk about you can just add the topic for example topic 1 all right so this is my topic 1 which i'm going to talk about during the presentation and then you can add more detailed text at the bottom equals lorem within bracket one you can see here center align white font reduce the size so this is my page two again page two also i have to group it so I'm, let me just select this hold the shift key this one this one and this one press ctrl g to group it and this will be page two page two and i'm putting it on top of page one okay so let me just put here so you can see here this is page one and this is page two i'm going to unhide the page three and then i'm just going to make it in this image Control v you can see here increase the size and i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to add the text box this is my topic two which i'm going to discuss in the classroom 
or whatever topic to make it center line bold increase the size and then you can add the detailed text also so let me just group this 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 and this press ctrl g to group it and this will be my page 3 again drag this page 3 on top of page 2 you can see here okay then i'm going to enable the page 4 all right page 4 i'm going to use this my work increase the size all right and then this would be my topic 3 you can just increase the size you can see here and add some detailed text all right so let me just reduce the size so this is my topic 3 and again this also i'm going to group it press ctrl g to group it and this will be my page 4 then then just bring this down and then enable the page 5 and i'm going to copy this my work and increase the size and paste it at the bottom of any position and you can add this is my topic 4 make it bold and increase the size you can see here this is my topic 4 let me just group this control G and this is my page 5 all right so you can see here i have made all uh, pages with the right groupings and with the right namings also now if you want to edit the page 3 you cannot do it unless and until you hide this one you can see here then page 3 is visible i can do any changes here all right and then if i want again i can enable if i want to do a page 1 modifications i have to just hide all this and then only page one will, will be visible okay i can just say that my example science project okay and then this is how i'm just going to do it and then it's all visible right so this is how you can do the modifications now it's time to add the animation now to add the animation let me just close the selection pane go to the animations enable the animation pane and reduce the size you can see here maybe further you can reduce it then i'm going to press ctrl a so that all the objects within the slide is uh, selected and then move aside towards the left so that this should be outside of the slide area you can see here so it is outside of the slide area now now I'm going to select the page one. You can see here this page one only I've got selected. Now what I'm going to do is let me just zoom out a little bit. Is that no? Let me just zoom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the animation. Go to the more motion path and here scroll down and select the right and click OK. And you can see here the two points, the green and the red. Select the red, hold the shift key and drag it towards the end of the slide. You can see here. If it is not, then let me just zoom it a little bit. Bring it here. So you have to make sure that it is properly aligned towards the slide. Yes, I think. Yes. So let me just. Okay. Now, using the animation painter, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy one by one the animation. So I'm just going to select this and double click the animation painter. Click on the second page. We can see here then the third page, the fourth page and the fifth page. You can see here. So let me just select the this one and then the last one. You can see here. So this is right and then press the escape key okay so let me just show the animation so it is nothing will be visible when you you know you when you are doing this one because all at the left side okay 
so let me just do the animation and when i click you can see here my science project that's the first page then it comes the second one the third one the fourth and the fifth so you can increase the speed it, depending on your requirement you can choose that one